big eel. <laughs> we all know the electrical eel uses electricity as a weapon. But is it possible there are other animals out there that can zap you with electrical jolts? Like this creepy looking goblin shark? Or this stargazer fish? Can they shock you too? Or how about this bad boy bumblebee? This electric catfish? Or even this spider? You know, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't have a lot of interest in animals that use electricity as a weapon until that time I went to the Amazon and went fishing for giant electric eels with my friend and pro fisherman, Steve Townsend. Right then, which eel should we catch? There's about 10 to 15 eels here. And they just pop up and they come back down again. In that video, not only did I learn electric eels are one of the most dangerous river monsters out there, but they can grow up to eight feet or about 2.5 meters long. That is huge. And if you're not careful, they can zap you with up to 900 volts of electricity, just like this little alligator found out. Okay, now that we know to stay way far away from electric eels, let's take a look at a couple other creatures that we may need to keep our distance from, like the Goblin shark. It's a rare species of deep sea shark that has a long, flat snout, and it can do this like weird thing with its jaws. It just like jumps out at you. It has nail-like teeth, but on the other hand, does it have its own electrical weapon system too? Well, maybe the answer is yes, but then again, maybe the answer is no. Tell you what, if you think the goblin shark uses electricity as a weapon, then vote real. If on the other hand, you don't think it uses electricity as a weapon, then vote fake. If you think we don't know one way or another for sure, then don't be afraid to vote for unknown. You ready? All right, go ahead and vote up here. Leave me some answers down in the comment section or just shout it out if you're in a group, your family, watching with your parents or friends anything like that. And I am gonna get at the electrifying answer here today. Yes, that's right. We're gonna be doing a lot of electric puns. We're gonna zap every possible electric pun we have today. All right, and the official answer is, are you on pins and needles? Okay. Uh, I hope you are because the answer is, fake. As it turns out, sharks do use electricity when they hunt for food. They have specialized receptors on their snouts that help the shark detect electrical fields given off by potential victims. So while the goblin shark does have the power to detect its food swimming around through something they call electrolocation, it can't actually zap any of its prey, so we don't consider it a weapon. But then again, with a jaw and teeth like that, who needs a zapper? The stargazer is certainly a really creepy looking fish. They like to remain buried in the sand and lie in wait for their victims. They have their eyes on top of their heads, which is why they're called stargazers. And oh yeah, they're venomous too. In some cultures, people actually eat them, although they remove the venom first. Hmm, I'm not so sure about this one because I've never heard of an animal that has the capability of shocking you first and stunning you, and then has venom as another weapon to poison you to death. I mean, that would be one really mean fish. But who knows, you know, nature can be pretty scary sometimes. So tell you what, here's the statement. Stargazer fish uses electricity as a weapon. If you believe that statement, then vote real. If you don't believe that statement, then vote fake. If you just like peanut butter, then vote unknown or maybe something else. And I'll get out this shocking answer. Here, that's right, I told you. I told you, I'm gonna be doing every electrical type pun I can think of today. All right, and the shocking answer is, wow, this really is shocking. It's real. 
The Stargazer can fire off electrical shocks, essentially shocking and immobilizing its prey, and then it just poisons them to death. Whoa, is that mean or what? Next on our list is the Bumblebee. But just to be clear, I'm not talking about Bumblebee the Transformer. That's for another video altogether. The bumblebees we're talking about are the real, live, organic bumblebees, okay? They're actually a lot bigger than regular honeybees, but on the other hand, they don't produce as much honey as their little cousin. According to LiveScience.com, there are over 255 types of bumblebees. And well, we know they can sting you pretty good, but is it possible these big bad bees can also zap you with a bolt of electricity? Okay, so I'll tell you what, go ahead and leave me your votes up here whether you think a bumblebee actually uses electricity as a weapon, real, or if it doesn't, fake. You can also leave me an answer down here in the old description box or just shout it out as usual. I will get out the... Did I already use electrifying? I know I use shocking. I think I'm running out of puns. Now. I'm getting out the current answer. Oh, like that. That's all. Uh, and the current answer is wow, fake. Now I know a lot of you guys are out there thinking, no, hey, I've already read that bumblebees use electricity as a weapon. What are you talking about? Well, maybe you did, but that's not actually accurate. Yes, they use electricity, but not as a weapon. Believe it or not, bumblebees use electricity, get this, to elevate pollen off of flowers. That is so amazing. I, nature never ceases to amaze me. I'm gonna leave some extra information in the description box if you wanna check out the details on this one because that is a mind blower. In Africa, there's a fish called the electric catfish. While not the prettiest catfish I've ever seen, they're also very effective hunters. They come out at night and they feed on other fish and fish eggs. Okay, now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. You're thinking, hey, if it doesn't use electricity as a weapon, why would they call it the electric catfish? Well, I'm here to tell you, be very careful to jump into those kind of conclusions because there is a whole list of animals out there in the world of nature that they have names that has nothing to do with what they are. How about the bear cat? That has nothing to do with being a bear. Or remember that time we went swimming with mermaid Melissa with the whale sharks? Well, guess what? That fish is neither a whale or a shark. They just call it that for no reason at all. Probably because they think it's a whale, but uh, uh, who knows. But anyway, go ahead and leave me your votes up here. Comments down here. Shout it out. I'm going to get directly to the answer. Look, it's not even... <laughs> uh, okay, on this one, I have to say, this is neither alternating current, get it, or direct current. AC or DC because the official answer is real as in true. According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, this species of catfish has the ability to produce an electrical shock up to 350 volts, which you can imagine what they use it for. And if that isn't enough proof of you, check out this video by YouTuber James King, who allows himself to be shocked by his own electric catfish pet. I'll leave a link to the full length video in the description box. We all think Spider-Man is cool, right? Especially how he swings through the air and casts his web to capture the bad guys. But generally, I don't think we think of electricity when we think of Spider-Man. We think of electricity when we think of a different superhero, Thor. But do real spiders use electricity as a weapon? I'm not so sure about that one either because look, face it, I've been in a lot of tents in the jungle and wake up with spiders crawling across my face, but I've never even felt a tingle of electricity. But, you know, I, I have heard that they do use electricity in weird ways. Listen to this. This is another believe it or not, folks. Spiders can actually fly hundreds of miles using electricity. It's called ballooning. 
Spiders have been found two and a half miles up in the air and 1,000 miles out to sea. Now, according to Atlantic.com, Erica Morley and Daniel Robert from the University of Bristol have shown that spiders can sense the Earth's electric field and use it to launch themselves into the air. Unbelievable. All right, so now we know these little creatures can use electricity to launch themselves in the air, but here's the question. Can they also use electricity as a weapon? Okay, if you think that's true, that spiders can use electricity as a weapon, then go ahead and vote real up here. If you don't believe it, well, you know how to vote, okay? You can also leave answers down here, shout it out. I'm gonna get out this because I know. And are you ready for this one? Are you all charged up for the answer? <laughs> I haven't quite run out of those little puns yet. And oh boy, Woo! this one is gonna hit you like a bolt, bolt of electricity uh, because the answer happens to be 100%, but I'm not kidding, without any doubt, real. All right, so here's the deal. I mean, not only can these spiders like do this amazing stuff of flying around by using electricity, but the way they use it in a web is really amazing. What they do is they, they, they coat their web with a special kind of glue uh, that has like these charged particles in it. Now, these particles are so charged up that when some prey comes even close to the web, the web will actually like act like a magnet and stick to the prey, and guess what? Then the prey stuck in the web. Wow. Okay, so there you have the shocking truth of my list of electrified animals. But you know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking, I don't think this is the end of the list. I'm thinking there's more animals out there that use electricity as a weapon, but I just don't know who they are. If you do know, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section before you go today so that we can all be enlightened. Now, if you're thinking about clicking away today, I would not do that because I've got a really good favorite fake of the week. I'm not kidding, this is one of my favorites of all time. So stay tuned for it. And now for my favorite fake of the week. It's a short video sent in by Homer and shows a guy running his motorcycle at top speed and having a great old time. But is he really? Watch this. See what I mean? That is unbelievable. The video first showed up on Facebook and was made by Producciones Audiovisual. Great job, guys. Now that's what I call a deep fake.